Your is Pert back with another video and with Stranger Things 3 out in the wild. I have a review of all eight seasons in the link in the description below. Go check that out. But with season four coming out in probably next year, or maybe they'll do another two year uh I, I don't think they'll do another two years, but maybe Let's just say if it comes out next year, this is going to be just a prediction on the next season, pretty much. Um, this is going to be part one. Now, part two is going to be, you know, me actually reacting and breaking down the season four trailer whenever that drops. So stay tuned and subscribe for that in the future. And, you know, with all that being said, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you're new because because you'll want to catch everything stranger things on this channel and um it'd be dope for y'all to check out what i have in store but you know i'm gonna break this down very simple just kind of give you my gist of what i would like them to do for season four none of this is set in stone this is just my theories my predictions whatever you want to call it um I just want to talk about certain characters, um, what they could do with certain characters, uh, what time period will this take place in? Um, that's another thing. Uh, I I'll get to that the time uh, the time and place at the end of this video. But you know, let's start with Eleven. Now, Eleven's been through a lot this past season. Um, with losing Hopper, losing pretty much her friends, moving away from her friends. But I'm pretty sure that whatever they do with her is going to be very interesting because now she has to really grow up on her own. Not officially grow up on her own, but like just figure things out without the uh help of will or hopper or you know anybody else for that matter but i'm really curious to see what they do with her character she's very she's maturing very fast i want to see her her growth through all this also how would she get her powers back because if you see in season three you see that she can't really tap into her powers what's going to make her what's going to trigger her to tap back into gaining her powers will she become even stronger when she is able to tap into that very interesting stuff that they could do with 11 but let's go over to mike because mike is definitely going to be a wild card i feel like in this season now that he has moved away from 11 no telling if he's going to try to go visit her or i'm pretty sure they're going to still stay in touch but i think it's still going to affect that she's not like there physically um maybe something whatever happens in this season is going to bring them back together but i would like to just see him kind of grow up you know this season really showed him realize realize his true colors and how it's affect it's has been affecting him and his friends and the people he's been around and i would really like to see him grow out of that because he came to the realization that you know he can't always protect 11 and it'd just be really interesting to see them mess with his character so the next character i want them to really explore is will because you know by the end of it he was really he he took it the hardest because he grew up with these uh with his friends he grew up with will he grew up with lucas he grew up with uh with dustin and now he's moving away no telling when he'll see them again and i know they're trying to explore his um him being gay i'm pretty sure they're going to probably do that in the season who knows or he'll probably find a love interest we don't know 
but that's another interesting thing to take in with will very interesting now dustin dustin's a very smart dude it's going to be very interesting to see how this move and how everything played out in the third season is going to play out in this season for him like will we see more of him and his girlfriend Susie? and that's another character i want to bring up real quick too um i would like to see them integrate Susie because she seems like a really interesting character keeps dustin in check um and dustin pretty much listens to everything she says so i don't know maybe she is going to be a new series regular for a little bit but who knows i i, I just really curious to see see that um now robin another new character that they introduced in season three um they may mention that she's a lesbian but who's to say she won't just end up becoming bi bisexual um i i still think her and steve have a chance to become a couple or ha have something to do with the relationship or uh anything something like that without within the season i definitely think that's a big possibility that thing because they've they've teased it so much it's just there's no way that they are not setting that up for them to you know be a thing we're just gonna have to wait and see next character that i have a theory on is max now i think with max losing her brother it's going to affect her the most because she's the fair she's fairly new and I don't know how this is going to affect her. Maybe she goes down a really dark path similar to Billy. Um, I hope not, but it would be really interesting to see. And and also that would make it that would give more screen time to Lucas because out of all the friends, we don't really get that much screen time with Lucas. So maybe Lucas could help her get out of that dark space in her mind and in her life and I, I that's something that's really been i've been really curious about they should really explore because you know it'll give lucas more shine or you know we can get more with this character and also learn more about max's character but on to the next character we got nancy and i'll throw in jonathan too because they're a couple um I know Nancy and Jonathan hasn't haven't been the people's favorite part about season three. Some would even say they're the weakest part of the season. Um, I, 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 I could agree with that to some extent, but I really think that they could do a lot of interesting things with those two. Uh, make them more included in this story in this season in season four maybe nancy gets pregnant and the season starts off with her expecting a child sometime sometime during the season um it would give a a really interesting you know twist on her story and that would also affect mike because that'd be his nephew and you know they could do things with them i just wish they would just make them more included that's really what i want to say and maybe they can go down that route who knows but let's go to hopper and hopper has been a very controversial you know character without within the series uh how the how season three ended is you saw him die we didn't really see him die but for right now i think he's dead but for him to return to season four i don't think it's impossible it depends on how they go about it because who's to say hopper didn't just you know hide under something or you know but you know let's just say he's dead this this is definitely going to affect joyce maybe we'll get more uh more of joyce in this season uh, to see where she is at mentally because this is the second person she fell in love with that died on this show 
Um, I just think they can go in so many different avenues with this season, um, especially the time period. I don't know if this is going to be 86 or 87. Who knows how long this time jump is? Are they going to do a very big time jump? Like me personally, I wouldn't have a problem with them doing a time jump because then that gives us time for our characters to grow on their own and to see where they're at. Um, but I, I'm a, I'm pretty sure it's only it's going to be a a short time skip, not going to be very huge. Um, but what do you guys think in the comments below if you've seen Stranger Things? season three what could they do to improve on in season four let me know in the comments below and i'll check y'all out in the next video peace well, when i was young i thought that success was all i needed that's what was going to bring the happiness buying my mom a house uh being the fame, the accolades, having people say, yo, you are the best in the game. I thought those would be the things that would bring happiness. And then when those things came, the, the happiness wasn't there. And I, I realized why that was. There was, a, there was such an attempt to achieve these things and to keep going that you lose sight of the people and the blessings that you have around.